We've learned a lot the past year about how to fight COVID-19, and now the latest studies backed by medical science show an arsenal in your medicine cabinet might make a big difference in the simple form of vitamins. We get all types of medical tests to evaluate everything from blood pressure to cholesterol. After dozens of studies have recently shown the importance of vitamin D when fighting COVID-19, Dr. Peter Osborne with Origins Nutrition Center suggests you consider a blood test to check your vitamin levels. I think that's probably one of the smartest things that a person could do right now. Uh, with an unpredictable, rel relatively unknown illness, what we do know at this point about vitamin therapy um, particularly about vitamin D. A new study has come out and, and a new analysis has come out on what we know about vitamin D and COVID so far. And here's what we know. People with low vitamin D who get COVID uh, have a greater tendency toward dying, have a greater tendency toward hyperinflammation in the cytokine storm that comes with COVID and have a greater tendency toward getting on ventilators, which are very bad because the ventilators don't work very well. They're a um, when a person's on a ventilator with COVID, it's, it's, it's not a good thing. So um, the outcomes aren't great. So if we can keep people off of ventilators, if we can keep people uninflamed, we can keep their immune system supported really well with nutrition. That I, ideally, that makes the most sense. Dr. Osborne says the most recent studies show that nine out of 10 COVID deaths could be prevented if people had adequate vitamin D levels. Vitamin D in our bodies often goes down in the winter time because fewer people are outside and not soaking it all up from the sun. You need at least 20 minutes of sunlight every day to get an adequate amount, which is why a supplement is often needed to get to that healthy level. Some hospitals around the country are even using vitamins as a treatment for COVID, not just prevention. A lot of doctors are now learning this and coming out and saying things about this. The, the, um... The, the East Virginia School of Medicine actually has a COVID protocol that includes vitamin D. So if you're a patient that gets hospitalized for COVID, they're automatically putting you between 20,000 and 60,000 units of vitamin D. This is part of their standard of care protocol in that hospital system. So Dr. Osborne believes vitamin D is one of the most simple and affordable ways to stay healthy. Vitamin D, very inexpensive. You can buy it uh, at the local nutrition store. And, uh, and it might just save your life should you get sick. That's huge. What do you suggest to your patients? How much are you wanting them to take per day? You talked about the protocols of once you're in the hospital, but what about on a daily basis, vitamin B or vitamin C and D? So, by, okay, so we're trying to be preventative and we want to use preventative measures to, to, you know, to hopefully put the odds in our favor from one, not getting sick, and two, if we do get sick, to minimize the, 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 you know, the, the strength of the illness. So with vitamin D, there's a therapy that can be done that I recommend, and it's a thousand IU, thousand international units of vitamin D per pound. So if you're a hundred pounds, you would take a hundred thousand international units of vitamin D for three days. After that, you don't have to keep taking those higher doses, but three days of, of, of high dose vitamin D will elevate your serum vitamin D levels to uh, to adequate levels. Dr. Osborne encourages everyone to think of fighting COVID naturally as a four-pronged approach using four different supplements. Uh, number one is vitamin D, get your levels up. And you can also ask your doctor to test your levels, a very easy blood test. Number two, vitamin C, we know it's working well. Uh, there've been some studies on COVID where vitamin C has shown to have very good uh, benefits in the outcome of, of illness. Number three, zinc. Zinc stops viral replication multiple ways. So it prevents the virus from hijacking your DNA. It prevents the virus from, um, from replicating. It also prevents the virus from entering the cell. So zinc, very important right now. Some hospitals are treating COVID with all four of those supplements. Dr. Osborne says these are the ones to focus on to cover your bases nutritionally. Obviously, always a good idea to talk to your own doctor before taking anything like a lot of vitamins. Now, Dr. Osborne says do not take that much vitamin D if you have a condition called sarcoidosis. Now, perhaps you like to get your vitamins naturally through food. Unfortunately, vitamin D is only found in fatty fish and cod liver oil and mushrooms, and you would have to eat a lot of those in order to get the recommended daily allowance. At least it's a, an easy way to hopefully try to stay healthy is to up those vitamins. Right now, we